Go. Go. Okay. Ready. Go. Okay, let's see what you're doing here. You are a big guy, but you're not using your body much. So if you look at the back swing, see how large it is. Your arm goes only about horizontal here, about this much. The club is going like this. Mm -hmm. And then quickly try to push this and then your body is uh, extending. Yeah, so it's all uh, your Every, but, but Everybody tells me I do that, but mentally, I don't f it doesn't feel that way. And you've said that in your videos. That's, uh, that's the, the, the key problem. So you don't match what you feel and what you're actually doing. Right. So always, um, always when you understand what you're doing, then it's easy to fix. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, then it's hard because um, you feel you're doing it right, but actually it's not. Exactly. Yeah, so currently your swing is really small. Um, so hold the orange whip about in the middle of the, the grip here. And then swing back and forth. Try to make swing as large as possible. Go all the way up. Give me, yeah. Give me the most range of motion you can generate. Hmm. And no need to intentionally generate the bending. So try to let it go all the way here and wait until the turn is completed and then start the downswing. Mm -hmm. Give more time at the top. Again. Now, let's go back to your club. Give me similar motion. To try to go as much as possible. Don't, don't think this as a, as a golf swing, but rather... When I go back, do I hinge my hands like this to get more? Why would you worry about that at this point? <laughs> so, yeah, so just to keep that much motion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Swing back and forth continuously. Swing back and forth continuously. Just to, just to keep turning your shoulders enough and then let it go enough. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can, so you can go a lot farther than uh, what you do in your normal swing. Okay. So it is important to uh, let it go all the way, use the range of motion. When your range of motion is really limited, then you tend to use your muscles a lot. Mm -hmm. okay? And then now, at the top here, instead of trying to quickly bring the arms down, let it go all the way. Okay? So try to turn your shoulders as much as possible. Go all the way here. And then when you start the downswing, try to turn the shoulders first and then let the arms go. Turn the shoulders first? Yeah, shoulder first and then let the arm go later. Yeah. Okay. So that way you will be able to make the swing motion a lot easier. No, that's a, why you're holding it here. Let it go again, all the way. Like that? More. More? Yes. There. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Swing back and forth continuously. So what you have to learn is as you swing back and forth, swing back and forth, you have to maintain good balance, right? Yeah. Currently, your back swing is too slow, okay? Because you try to swing hard in the downswing. Try to make back swing faster. With a faster back swing, it's easier to go more here. No, 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 no. Faster back swing does not mean quick transition. Make the motion fast and then so make bigger back swing. No. Do not stop. Do not use your arms, right arm here. Let it go all the way. Yeah. yeah. And more, more, more. So 
that motion should come from continuous motion. Continuous motion all the way here instead of yeah. motion should be fast, but you have to let the club go all the way. Again. Again, so let's use the orange whip here. Again, do the same thing back and forth, but no need to swing hard on the way down. That's what, not what I want. I want you to have a more continuous and a large backswing, okay? Yeah. Downswing will come automatically. So, again, swing back and forth. No, no, need, to, no need to swing hard on the way down. So just uh, make it continuous motion back and forth. Continuous motion back and forth. Yes. Make it a bit faster, the backswing, make the backswing a bit faster. Now here, as you do, relax your wrist. Don't try to, uh, um, what is it, dominate the old drip. Let it go, okay. okay, all the way. Relax your wrist. Completely relax your wrist and let it go. Feel the motion of the orange whip. Feel the motion of it. No, but continuous motion, continuous motion back and forth. Keep, keep turning. Easy, 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 let it go. Feel the motion of the whip, motion of the whip. Feel it, yeah, swing back and forth. Work with the whip, okay, work with the whip, whip. And then feel the motion of the <clears throat> end of the whip. That will give you smoother, easier motion. Right. Now, yeah, your, your problem is that your right arm is too uh, strong, it's too dominant. So relax your arms, relax your arms and then uh, the wrist, and then make motion continuous all the way. Make, it, make the back swing particularly fast and bigger. Continuous, continuous. No need, no need to use the swing hard. And as you repeat the motion, here's the key. As you repeat the motion back and forth, try to use your body more instead of using the arms. Okay. So turn your body, using the legs and then the, the body, turn it around instead of using the arms. Relax your arms and wrist completely, and then use the body to turn it around. Yes, swing, swing. Swing. In your case, since you're a big guy, I will bring the longer one. That's a mid-size. It's good for me, but um, I'll bring uh, the longer one. Now, this is longer, so you have to time the motion well. Otherwise, it'll be more difficult. So, give more time at the end of the turn, okay? So, so go back fast, and then, and then let it drop, and then go through. Mm -hmm. And then in doing that, instead of using your arms a lot, use your shoulder turn and your, your body. No, you're not really working with the whip, rather you try to dominate it. The main thing is whenever you deal with uh, any device, you have to understand the physical characteristics of the device. And then have good timing so that swing back and forth as smoothly as possible. Do not try to dominate. Okay. You have to really work with the whip. Swing, bring it back, and swing, bring it back, swing. On the way down, on the way down, if you use your arms a lot, if your arms are going too far ahead, then you will have this uh, bending, no bending like that. Okay. So go up here and then have the image of drawing a sword. The sword is slightly curved here. Drawing a sword and then simply let it go. Instead of try to push it, try to dominate. Let the, clip, uh, let the end of the whip go. Feel the motion of the, the end. Easy, yeah, easy motion, swing, easy swing. Feel the motion of the end. Do not try to swing hard. Just to throw, just to throw the hands and the whip. Okay. Feel the motion of the whip, okay? 
mm -hmm. feel the motion of the whip. Instead of dominating it, you have to work with the whip. Again. Yes. So in doing that, you have to let it go enough. Now, this one is flexible here. Flexible here. So when uh, you don't move your hand that much, but still it will bend like this and they give you more motion. When you use your club, then you have to actually bring the hands a bit higher mm -hmm. to have enough rotation. So let's see. Uh, using your club, try to give me uh, enough range of motion during the backswing. Okay, again, go easy, smooth, swing back and forth. Uh, mm -hmm. Again. Again. Mm -hmm. Swing back and forth continuously. No need to swing hard, but feel the motion of the club head. Feel the motion of the club head. Yes. Swing. Swing. So in the end, what matters is you have to bring the club head right here where the ball is, right? So imagine uh, here's, here's the ball. Then you have to deliver your club head to this position mm -hmm. as you swing back and forth. So it's not about what your body wants to do, but rather it's about the motion of the club head. And you have to have enough range of motion, but with the smooth motion, you have to deliver the club head back to where the ball is. Okay, swing back and forth. Uh, you hit the ground. You hit the ground. You have to control that. Swing, swing back and forth, swing back and forth. Swinging hard is not, swinging the hard is not the main thing. You have to have enough time here, wait here, so that you can control the downswing pad well. You are transitioning too quick. You are hurrying, hurrying into downswing. So at the end of the backswing, wait more, and then make sure you are deliver the club head to where the ball is on the way down. You just try to swing hard. So in order to in order to deliver the in order to deliver the club head down to where the ball is, that you have to feel the motion of the club head here. You have to know where the club head is passing through, and then bigger motion the same thing, bigger motion the same thing. You have to feel the you have to know where the club head is so that you can deliver it where the ball is, okay? okay? So it's not about, this is not an Ironman competition, okay? Yeah. So maximizing your effort is not important. You have to move the club head motion, you have, you have to move the club head consistently so that it passes through where the, yes. Keep the gaze, keep the gaze on the ball, swing, not, no need to, no need to watch me, keep the gaze on the ball. Uh, you are making the backswing short. Let it go more. Let it go a bit more. That's a too quick motion. Again, pay attention to the club head motion. When you have enough backswing, still you feel the club head motion and then let it go all the way here instead of... Okay? The key is the club head motion. Let it, let it go to this position and then let it go. Let it go here and then let it go. So particularly at the end of the turn, the color motion should be fairly uh, stable. If it goes this way a lot, it's hard to uh, control the downswing pad. So at the top, spend, uh, have more time. Make sure you deliver, yes, make sure you deliver the color pad where the ball is. Yeah, so that club head is a, a cruise missile, okay? So initially it'll have uh, speed and everything, but uh, on the way down, you can control the pad to a certain extent, but it's hard. Once it starts moving fast, 
it's hard to uh, change things. Right. So you should have a good initial condition. Go up here and from here, you know where the ball is, where the clavet is, then you will deliver it so that on the way down, you don't have to alter a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to aim where the ball is from the top and then deliver the club head. Ah, uh, you make it bigger. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Make, make the vaccine bigger. Uh, then it went this way at the end because you are using your right arm. When the club wants to go this way, and then you try to use your right arm to stop this, then it goes this way here. So you will have to let the head go all the way here. Feel the motion of the head and let it go to this position here. Instead of using the right arm, try to stop it, then it goes this way here. So relax your wrist and arms. Easy, go easy. Swing, yeah, really easy swing back and forth. Continuous motion back and forth. Feel the, feel the motion of the club head back and forth. Continue, continue, continue. Mm hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. So now, although the, the swing motion is a lot bigger, you have a lot more consistent motion now. Yeah. It's hitting the tip of the tee. So generally, you are limiting this because you want to go that far. Then you, will t you tend to lose the control. So you only go about here and try to hit. But with this motion, because your body is not quite ready, you try to activate the muscles like crazy. Right. That's why you have uh, this uh, really uh, hurried downswing. So again, go easy, swing back and forth. Swing continuously, back and forth. Do not stop. Swing, 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 yeah. Swing, 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 swing. That's okay. So do not try to hold the club with the, your arms. Let it go. Oh, much better on the back swing. <laughs> a lot bigger now. Come on! <laughs> Terrible. Try to use your muscles. No. That's why I'm here. Oh, okay. here. You see how big your swing motion is. And then with this, because you are letting, letting it go, you are easier on the arms, so that's why we have more range of motion. So the swing motion is not as a quick or jerky as your initial swing. Mm. Okay, now let's go to the so-called uh, stage three of the two-step swing. So maintain your regular stance, and then, so from here, throw the club toward the target first. Using this, bring it high up, and then let it go. So but not hitting anything, right, in the air? Just uh, if you can, you, you can touch the tip. Okay. But um, so the only difference now is you're having this uh, initial trigger motion and then let it go, okay? This motion, you are a big guy and then make a big motion instead of uh, here. Instead of quickly like this, mm, and bring it back. Okay, make a motion a bit bigger. No, no, no need to take a step. It's no step. Just uh, use your regular stance. No step. No step? Mm. It's a stage three. No step. So use your regular stance. Regular stance, no step. Just to throw the club and bring it back and then let it go. Yeah, again. Mm -hmm. You can have a bit wider stance. With your body size, you can go a bit wider. Yeah. So then you have a stable foundation here. 
So you will be able to move the body using the legs. Now you have stable foundation, and they have a good trigger, and the fast backswing, and then give me enough backswing. Let it go, again. Again. <laughs> so it's really good now, <laughs> a lot better. So at the top of backswing, instead of the direction coming down, have more time here, and then let it go. So for that, you have to do the same thing. At the end of this motion, give enough time here, and then bring it back. Although the motion is fast, but give enough time here, and then let it go. No rush. Yes! Uh, now it hit the ground first. Mm. So as you repeat this, using this firm foundation, and then the body, you have to control over, over all the clip head path, okay? So instead of just letting it go, you have to pay attention to the clip head motion. But it's okay to swing a bit uh, uh, higher. So, uh, you know, let it, let it uh, pass above the, uh, the T, that's okay. Swing, oh, look at that. Uh huh. And then, still you are rushing. Still you are rushing. You are rushing both ways because you want to use your arms. It may be your advantage actually using you know the strong arms. But uh, the thing is that ooh, 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 and then go all the way here and have more time instead of ooh, ooh, swing and then stop here. Let it go all the way here instead of abruptly stopping. Let it go so that you have a stable finish. Three. Ah, this time you cut the back swing short. Still, the transition is too fast, too quick. Again, here's the idea. The motion is fast here. From here, you have a fast motion, but at the end, you have to pay more time here and then let it go. Remember, if this is the orange whip, then you have a quick transition. You'll have a lot of bending here. I don't want to see that. You have to slow down at the end so that you have a little bit of a bending here. Wait here until this is done, and then start the downswing by drawing a sword instead of wait here and then let it go. Right. And then even at the end of the downswing, you'll have a good finish. That flow is better, but uh, you need to make uh, the backswing a bit bigger. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. But make it uh, the, make the, the whole thing smoother. Make everything continuous. One motion, one continuous motion. Yeah. Again, make everything as one continuous motion. No abrupt motion. Make the back a bit bigger. Back. I got my hands on my. Did you because you're putting too much effort here. Yeah. yeah go a bit e go easier with uh, your wrist and your arms. No need to uh, hold it that hard. In, in order to feel the motion of the, the device you are swinging, you actually have to go a bit easier. Go easy, and then you will be able to feel the motion. The club the same. Now, okay, good, good, good. Let me uh, first record this. This is really good. You will see how you're swinging now. Let me record this. Stage three, ready, go.
working. Ready, go. Yeah, still you're, you're trying to put too much effort in the downswing. No need to do that. That effort is coming from your arms. Look at the flow here. Mm -hmm. in, the down, uh, the, in the down the line view here, you kind of hurried into down. So you have to let it go all the way here. Have a good wind up, no resistance here. Just let it go here and then start the downswing. Instead of rushing down. Yeah, so you are into this rhythm already. Now instead of trying to swing hard, go easy and uh, relax your wrist and the arms and then repeat stage three. Okay, stage three. Your goal is not a uh, forced downswing, but rather try to have a good wind up in the backswing. Stage three, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. Again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Now, on the way down, on the way down, currently you are moving your upper body this way too much. So what happens is go here, going this way here. Instead, try to push the ground outward with your left leg. So on the way down here, as you let it go, try to lean backward. On the way down, down in the downstream, okay? Try to lean your upper body that way, not this way. That's better, that's better, and then let the arms and uh, club go. So you have to really throw the hands and club this way, instead of try to drive it all the way with your arms, let it go here, throw. Throw the hands and club this way, and then your upper body is leaning the opposite way. Ah, the back swing is short. Back swing is short. Keep enough back swing, big back swing. <laughs> this, this is because, that's because you're using your arms quite a bit. When you use your arms a lot, then you lose balance. Yeah. Because your, body is pass your lower body is passive. Do you have a blister or something? Yeah. And, let's see. Is it already out there? Yeah, because you're using your hands a lot. That will be a hard place to do anything. Try to spread uh, out your fingers, yeah, so that um, it doesn't block your bloodstream that much. I'm not a an athletic trainer, so <laughs> <laughs> so it's rough, but um, okay. I guess through the day. Oh, perfect. And also try try to use your hands a lot, so just go easy, and feel the motion of the just the club, okay. And then with the tape, it may be a bit slippery. So you may lose the club. So don't, no need to swing hard. Just to try to feel the, the flow. Stage three, easy, stage three. Mm -hmm. 
And here, here, the flow is good, but here are two issues. One, your trigger motion is too small. You are not turning your pelvis much, and then just it's about this much here. Instead, turn here. So you have to turn your pelvis, and then bring the hands more to the lateral side. Show me, show me the trigger motion. Ah, no, instead of doing this, try to move the hands more this way. Move the hands? Come this way. No. Oh, this way here. Your hands should be here. Instead of here, and then try to do this. Okay. Try to move hands more this way. That way, you have to turn your pelvis. More, hands more, hands more, hands more this way. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then, turn. Again. So try to maintain that motion plane on the back, all the way back. So, what I just did? and then you went, uh, the, the clavicle went uh, this way a bit more. Uh, so go here and then bring it back this way. Okay. Ah, it was short. You stopped here. Well, let, let it go a bit more. Let it go more. Again. Yeah, on the way down, because uh, what happens is on the way down, you try to swing it with the right arm here. Try to swing like this. That's why here, your right arm becomes really tight. Okay. But on the way down, try to throw your left arm. Down my left arm. Mm. Put the, the right hand over your waist and then lean forward, lean forward, and then hang your left arm here. During the back swing, bring the left arm here. And on the way down, throw the left arm this way. More, more actively. By turning the shoulder and the body and then throw the left arm, good. And keep it lower, keep it a bit lower. Yes, again. So using the trigger motion, bring it back and then throw. Now using the trigger, oh. trigger go here and then bring it back here and then let it go. The left arm has to go higher in the backswing. I try to try to bring the hand this high. Again, it should be rhythmic. So let it go, bring it back, and then throw. Mm -hmm. Using the lower body, make it rhythmic again. Again. And as you throw, instead of bringing the hands high up here, again, go low, flat. And then let it go, and then turn your, turn your hand this way. Turn your hand this way. Mm -hmm. So now, that means, uh, you have to use your, your, engage your left arm a bit more than the right arm. So instead of go up here and try to hit the ball like this, try to use this and then, here. So from backswing to downswing, use your left arm more. So let it go enough and have more time up there. Don't rush, okay? That's better, so have a, enough time here and on the way down, try to throw the left arm. Mm -hmm. Again. Mm -hmm. But the now, we keep the both hands on the, on the club. No need to swing hard, but engage your left arm more, yes. Engage your left arm more. Uh-huh. Now, now in the downswing, in the downswing, bring the club more this way. Instead of going outward, bring the club this way. Mm-hmm. 
Now make a motion smooth, smooth, and let it go. Yes, again. Let it go. Yeah, give a bigger, bigger back swing. Give, give me bigger back swing. Mm -hmm. When you let it go more, then the, the motion is a lot better. So make sure you give more back swing, okay? The club is going this way. I try to go a bit flatter in the downswing. Flatter downswing. But the, in the flat, if you keep the hands high up here, it's hard to go flat. On the way down, keep the hands a bit lower, and, and then you have to bring the hands more this way. Yeah. This way here. So this is the impact position here. And then keep moving the hands here so that your hands should be on the lateral side, not out here. Here. So bring the hands more this way. Yes. The pet is really good. Yes. That hand pet is a lot better. Mm -hmm. And then pay attention to the ball. Pay attention to the ball. So I think I, you need to practice this a lot. Okay? Keep practicing this. Um, when you are completely into this rhythm, then we can look at different things. But currently, your body is too rigid. You don't have a lot of uh, mobility. So that's why part of the reason why you're having really short back swing is you don't want to go that far here because of the... Yeah, because my back gets tight. Mm. So. Because of the bulkiness in your body. Mm -hmm. But then you can move the arms a little bit here to have additional uh, range of motion. So when the body range of motion is limited, then you can always add a little bit of arm range of motion here. So it's not a problem. But if you hold your hands here, there's no way to do that. Mm -hmm. okay? So always when we are lacking something, then we need to find a way to compensate that, which is more arm motion here. Right? If your body cannot turn anymore, then lift the arms a bit higher here. Let the club head go more. It's OK to lift your arms high up here. So instead of going this way too much, then the club goes this way here. If you bring the hands a bit higher, then it will give you additional range of motion. So at this time, stage three, but in the, in the back swing, try to raise your, your hands quite high and see how, how it goes. Again, again, again. Hmm. That looks a lot better for me. Okay, so again. Yes, so don't be afraid of uh, raising your right arm up here. Okay. It's okay. Those who have a very limited range of motion in, uh, in the uh, trunk here, it, it's okay to raise your arms a bit more, but you, don't, you shouldn't do this. If only the elbow goes out here, then the club goes that way. But if you just raise your hands higher up, this is okay. And then swing. Again, stay three. With the hands higher up. Yeah, it was a short. Again. That's good, that's good, that's good. As long as you let the right arm go a bit more, and then you'll be able to swing. Even if you have to use your right arm, do not stop it here, but use your right arm more, let it go higher, and then hitting the ball with the right arm. That's okay. okay? But you just don't stop it here. And then, so again, stage three. Bring your right arm higher. 
Yes, that looks a lot better. So again. Oh, team, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Again. Yes. Let me record this. Ooh, I love it. So I'll bring your right arm a bit higher. Again, ready. Give me good, good club motion, okay? Doing the back swing. Yes, like that. So ready, ready, go. Oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So even if uh, you use your right arm, that's okay, but keep more range of motion so that you don't have a really restricted motion, okay? The same thing, ready, go. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, let's do, let's do uh, stage three and your regular swing. Stage three and regular things. Use the stage three as your pre-shot routine. So feel the flow, and then let's see how you do uh, your regular swing. So don't, um, no trigger motion? No, you, yes, yes, you do have trigger motion. Stage three first, do the stage three first, and then your regular swing oh, okay. without the trigger. And then your regular swing. And then make the back swing a bit bigger. Make the back swing a bit bigger. Okay, the, your regular swing. That's a lot better. Okay. Now, let me record this. Stay three and your regular swing. Okay, ready, go. Uh-huh, and then your regular swing. Uh huh. And then your regular swing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, your your body motion is a lot better now. You're not rushing. Okay. So again, stage three and regular swing. Ready, go. Ah, I missed the, the last one. Just stay three and then see your regular swing. <laughs> it's like that, that looked terrible. You can see how terrible that is. <laughs> yes. That so, looks way better. Stage three and then your regular swing. Look at this. The floor is a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Stage three. Yeah, I did not get the, uh, the regular swing. So let's uh, record this again. Give me good back swing. And then in the back swing, in the back swing, if you let your body lean this way a bit, then it's easier to go a bit more. If you lean the body this way, okay, instead of going this way here. Mm. If you lean the body more this way, you can go a bit more. So uh, stage three, pra let's practice that. Then let it go. The regular swing, regular swing. Uh, it's hard. So in the regular swing, you have to start the back swing with the body shift first. So from here, shift first and then turn around instead of just going, lifting the arm. You have to, you, you have to use the body. Remember, 
in stage three, remember how you move your, your body. You have to use that in the regular swing, okay? That's better, that's better. Now you know what to do with the body. Okay, let me record this again. So stay three and the regular. Ready, go. Yeah, you are starting the back swing with a, a little bit of body motion. You have uh, just a so. In the regular swing. So. Regular, regular.